Hi everybody, this is Cyrus for bestbookreaders.com. Today I'm testing Kindle for Windows 8. Now we've been covering a lot of stuff on Kindle and the Kindle free time and even we reviewed Kindle 8 for Windows Kindle for Windows 8 a few weeks ago. What we didn't do was cover everything that the app has to offer. So I'm hoping to cover a lot of material today as far as what this app is capable of. So you are going to need the Windows 8 device that goes without saying. Once you get it and you open the app, you're gonna have this navigation at the top. Now this is where, and if you don't see it, you have to just swipe down from the top of your screen to make this show up. Now you have different options here. You have the library section that shows you your library. You have the good go to option that tells you where you can go. As far as books, you can go to the front. You can go to table of content, beginning location. You have the view option that changes the way this app works. You can change the font, color, margins, and all that. You apply settings and go from there. You can bookmark different pages. You can take notes. As you can see, I have this. Um, uh, this shows me the bookmark that I've taken already. It's page 4416. I can sync my inf and also I can pin to a start. Now what happens when you pin to start is this book is going to go. There we go. It's going to show up on your start screen. And uh, that means that if you find yourself really captivated by a book and you want to bookmark it so you can access it with one tap that's what you do you can change the position you are in the book by going through that slider at the bottom you go to your library it shows you what you have in the cloud what you have on your device now I have these on my device and if I wanna let's say remove that I can do that you have to tap slightly drop and let go and then you can open the book you can remove the book or unpin the book if you like so let's go and open this book This is the book by Chris Lang, and I'm sure if you, you've probably seen him, uh, he's very popular on Google Plus and other social networks, and he has a bunch of books, I think. This is a um, sci-fi book, sort of a, I think, if I'm not mistaken, about a Google Glasses, Glasses kind of story. I haven't read the whole book, so I can't tell you what the story is about, but let's say I want to bookmark this page. If, if I want to look up a definition, I have to hold my finger on a word and you have to hold it for a couple of seconds and it shows up and then you can get the pronunciation and take a note. And now if I go to my notes, it has the title that I gave it, it has the word that I looked up, it has the um, the note that I took. And um, the same applies for any other word, you just have to keep it there and the information is getting access from dictionary.com at least that's what it says here the information is coming from I already showed you how to I actually haven't showed you how to search your Kindle library so this is this is important you have to you go to the right side of your screen you drag your finger towards the center, you're going to see the search bar, the charm bar as they say. 
the charms bar and actually it, i like to say it's a search bar because i uh, i prefer that that way you say search and you have to choose the app that you want to search for let's uh, search through you, you choose kindle and then let's say i want to search for marketing So it's going to tell me what I have in my library. And these are in the, you see the cloud icon that's stored in the cloud. So now if I go again to my Kindle app, to my device, now I can remove it if I want. Because I, I, as I mentioned, I only had two of these books, but when I when I downloaded it, it showed up in my device. But if you don't want to have it on your device, or if you're running out of space, that's what you do. Just like any other app, you can just switch between apps by just dragging your finger from the left side of your screen toward the center. Now, if you just want to have a split view, you drag to the left and then go back to the right, and you're gonna have you're gonna see all the open windows. I have Frida open. I have Store, Desktop, and Internet Explorer. Also, there's a Start page. So these are basically if if you've tried Windows 8, you probably know you're familiar with all these tips already. So this is not not helpful as far as Kindle goes, but the Kindle app is pretty basic I would say at the same time it does the job you do get a lot of customization features you get to sync your information you get the notes feature which is very important if you want to keep track of things you get the bookmarks you can bookmark different pages you can apply settings as far as black white let's just go with black so i mean that's maybe easier on your eyes i mean depends on what you what you prefer you can choose a different location let's say i want to go to page 54 so you have that as you can see when i removed my bookmark that was removed now if i if i add this and i go to my bookmark I actually did not add. If I go now, you can see it that is showing up there, which is nice. And you also get the dictionary. And uh, look up words if you just tap and hold. So that's about it. This is Windows 8 for uh, Kindle for Windows 8. And um, I'm sure Amazon is going to improve the app in the future. I'm interested to know what you like Amazon to add to this application. Also, if you have any questions about what I did here, because sometimes I do it fast and we've been getting this feedback in other videos. I have to keep these videos under 10 minutes. So sometimes they go faster than I should. If you have any specific question on how I did certain things on Windows 8 or on the Kindle app, uh, leave a comment and I'll try to clarify and maybe do a, another video showing how to do that a specific task on Kindle or Windows 8. So uh, I hope you find this useful. For more information, please go to bestebookreaders.com. Also, if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and give us some social media love. Uh, thank you very much for watching, guys.